Tracy, then just a question here. And I mean, um, so I've put your website into the chat there. And guys, please do go and check out Tracy's website. And she offers a professional service. Um, but do you have any suggestions? So you can certainly, you know, contact Tracy and she can sort of quote you or, you know, give her give you an indication of her rate uh, to help you. Um, but do you have any ideas for free services where, where people can, you know, just get a quick feedback on their CV for free, potentially, Tracy? Mm, absolutely. So there are a few different ways. I can share my um, template with you, Pete, too, but it's really, it's nothing. It's just, it's so simple. Um, there is, uh, I, I don't really like the Microsoft uh, templates. I'm not saying don't use them, but they tend to be a bit sort of, I don't know, childlike with all the colors and so on. Again, my personal touch and um, taste, and also I've worked primarily, well, only in finance and investment banking. So I am more used to or inclined towards that resume. Um, when it's somebody who's in a creative space, then it's, it's, it's nice to show that sort of flair and, and make it a little bit more creative. But just to go back to that, so templates, when you um, create, actually, you know, I don't think CVs are gonna be a thing for very much longer. I think our LinkedIn profiles are gonna become our CVs. Um, but uh, to, on that point, if you go to LinkedIn, there is actually, it's like a button somewhere that I've seen where you can download your CV, so that your, your LinkedIn profile, and it actually comes up on a C, as a CV, a PDF. Mm. So I know you can do that. The other thing is um, there are, uh, if you're going to use something online, uh, which is really the only way you're going to kind of get it um, done for free. And there are sort of the tips. If you Google it, there's CV builders. I'd rather use that for, um, than the Microsoft um, uh, templates, as I've said. And then um, the other thing is, uh, I'm just trying to think. It's really, I think I would go with make sure your LinkedIn is great and then use that, um, use that PDF option to, to mm. save. Yeah, fantastic, Tracy. Thank you for that. And if I could just answer from my side, Retabili, what I've posted in the link there is a free seat, um, you know, in my course called Improve Your Job Prospects. And in that course, I teach, you know, basic CV writing and a tool called NovoResume.com. So I just wanted to come at this question from a couple of different angles. It's a cloud-based CV uh, layout tool that in fact um, Elon Musk uses and um, it's I would say not the sort of colorful amateurish templates that you do get in Microsoft Word which I totally agree with Tracy just look like Microsoft Word this is actually a professional level template um, option for you to use for CVs and they have different formats whether you're in a NGO environment or whether you're in a professional investment banking environment and you can quickly click a couple of buttons and it lays it out for you and then I mean Tracy I don't know if you're aware of this but one of the fantastic things that I found when I built my CV on Nova Resume was that it actually has tool tips so it uses algorithms and artificial intelligence to have a look at the length of your bullet points and to advise you to make it a bit shorter or to tell you whether you put too much information in a certain role because it can check the date and it can say that's too far ago and you've got too many bullet points in that. They'll be more interested in the roles that are in the last two to three years, for example. 